In this software demo, we'll start from the step of adding a new device and demonstrate the measurement sequence for a task with one beam and a task with multiple beams. Step 1. Go to the Setup page and select Devices, then click Add Device. Once the device pop-up loads, you should see your MyQA Daily device visible on the right, assuming it's turned on and connected by Ethernet to your computer. Simply click the gray box to auto-populate the device details and revise the name as needed. Click Save once complete to return to the device list. Here you should see your newly added device listed and showing as online. The interface for adding a machine is similar to that for a device. Navigate to Setup and select Machines. Then click Add Machines on the upper left of the screen. Many of the details needed to define a machine are actually entered when defining the beams. For now, only the source axis distance is needed. Now select your new machine and click the blue Add Beam button to open the Add Beam interface. To define a new beam, you'll need to select the radiation type, energy, field size, and number of monitor units for the field. You can also define any details needed regarding that beam. With a machine and a beam defined, you can now create a task to measure that beam. Just as before, you go to the setup and select your new machine. Then click on All Tasks. From there, you can either click on Add Task in the top right, or the blue Add Task button if you have no task to find. Hopefully the workflow is feeling familiar at this point. You'll need to define the days of the week to perform the task, and also select the beams to measure in the task. If you're selecting more than one beam, you can click and drag the three bars to reorder the beams as you would like to measure them. Any additional information about the task can be entered in the description box. There's also a checklist area where you can enter a number of go, no-go tests to be performed with the task. The last step before the task is ready for use is to acquire a baseline measurement for that beam. The baseline measurement is beam triggered and the irradiation can be repeated a few times if desired. MyQA Daily will record the irradiations and define the baseline as the mean of the measurements, as well as provide the standard deviation for each of the properties. Once satisfied with the baselining data, it's also possible to view and edit the tolerances associated with each of the parameters measured. The tasks which are due to be run are displayed alongside the name of the machine associated with that task. Initially, all tasks which are due will be displayed, but it's possible to see only the tasks associated with a single machine by selecting it from the list on the left. Start the task by clicking on the blue play circle on the right. The user will be presented with the go no go tests on the right and the beams to be measured below. The user has two options to start the measurements. First, you can click on the start measurement sequence to measure all the fields consecutively. In this case, since there's only one field, we'll use the Start Measurement button instead. The difference with this method is that the field results are displayed in detail immediately. The user can review the results and make any needed notes before completing the task. Here we can see the task workflow for multiple consecutive beams. The pop-up box will provide the user with field settings for the first field and wait until the beam starts to begin measuring. After the beam is completed, the sequence will move on to the second field, again showing the field settings and waiting for the user to start the beam. This process will repeat until all beams have been irradiated in the sequence. In this case, rather than showing the detailed results for each beam, the software displays the overall results. To recap, we demonstrated how to add a MyQA daily device, a machine, a beam, and a task and we showed how to perform measurements using either the single field method or in a sequence.